Welcome to our show called The Next Shot, where we talk about photography, videos, and how to edit your work. Join us every Monday, where we'll have a new topic to discuss and answer questions that you may have. Thank you for all your support, and we look forward to seeing your next shot. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Next Shot, where I'm joined with my co-host, Luke Lukasik from Georgia. How you doing, Luke? Hey, how's it going today? So today we'll be discussing time-lapse photography. So, Luke, what did you think about your, uh, your adventure with time-lapse photography this week? Well, you know, having never really done it or, or played with it, um, maybe it was a little bit of a challenge just to, to feel comfortable with it, only because, yeah, I'd never, never done it before. But, you know, it's, it's, it's something I'll do again. Uh, this time when I do it again, it'll, it'll be a little bit better, a little bit more prepared for it, you know. Right. It was something I sprung on you last minute and said, hey, have you ever done a time lapse or you want to discuss that this week? And you were like, sure. So, you know, it's good to get you out and get you trying new things. And, and same thing for you guys out there listening and watching us uh, on today's episode. So if you've never done a time lapse photography, let's get right into it. All right, here we go. All right, Luke, this is one of your time lapses that you did down in Savannah. Is that correct? It was. It's um. It's outside work. Uh, after I got off, I just I, I started my homework assignment, and uh, <laughs> I just went upstairs and I propped my phone up. Uh, obviously, I didn't have a tripod, uh, so I kind of right. propped it up against the stairs and, and the edge there to get it as still as possible. Um, but it was windy and it was a little shaky, so I said next time definitely have to be prepared with a little tripod. All right, so we're playing that for everybody that, to see and uh, kind of give us a, a little bit more uh, detail on what's going on here. Yeah, well, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's tourist season. This is the, the river uh, down in Savannah. Uh, this is where all, all the big ships come in, all the cargo ships come in. Uh, we're on the corner amongst uh, restaurants and bars, and everyone's just kind of walking by, coming and getting ice cream candy. Uh, Savannah is a town where you can drink legally uh, just out in the open without, you know, any, any repercussions. Uh, there's only a few rules, but, you know, right. it's always an interesting time on the river. So I guess the rules of uh, kind of like street photography are similar to street videography and time lapse. Is that correct? Do you think that's how yeah. it works? Yeah, for sure. You know, and, and if, if you're not comfortable with street photography, you know, you, you kind of do what I did, like but up here, you, you kind of perched up high away from everybody out of view, you know, just right. to kind of get, get the view that you need. So let me, let me point out something that I just noticed. If you look right here at the bottom of your screen, what's these guys mm -hmm. eating their ice cream cone? This is quite hilarious. So you sit it's, down. It's, almost, it's, like, <laughs> it's in unison. I mean, you know, time-lapse videography or photography, which is basically, if you don't know what time-lapse is, it's, it's basically setting up your camera and it's taking snapshots, uh, depending on the, uh, the time frame that you set. You can do it like every one second, every two seconds, and you can do it for a set amount of time. So it's just basically taking small snapshots putting them, putting them together in video and playing them back like 30 frames per second. So it speeds up time is basically what it does. So mm -hmm. if you watch the clouds, if you look at the flag, I mean, a lot of this is self-explanatory, but uh, it takes uh, sometimes 10, 15, 20 minutes, sometimes an hour to get a great looking time lapse to where you can cut it into pieces and use it for maybe some B roll, anything, mm -hmm. anything that you're doing for commercial uh, work. But if you just want to do it for fun, like we did, you know, we set it up and we went and shot and uh, I shot one today in the rain, you know, just through the car window. So you'll see yeah. it went up next, but, uh, but really good job. Like I say, you picked a good spot that had a lot of motion in it and that's kind of what you want to do for time-lapse. So uh, let's jump into one of mine. Okay. All right. All right. So this is one that I set up today uh, in the rain. I set it through the uh, driver's side window and I just, uh, put it at the stoplight. Mm -hmm. As you can tell, it's quite busy. So we'll play this in loop. And uh, what I like seeing is the the change of the stoplight itself, you know. Uh, yeah. And there's not a lot of motion other than the vehicles coming in and out of the, the screen, but uh, windshield wipers going, you know, a lot of it's just, it's, it's funny to watch. It's almost like watching the old Benny Hill show, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that or not, but that's what it reminds me of, you know. Yeah. Uh, and 
like I say, this is just something simple you can set up if you've got a tripod or if you don't have a tripod with you, just set it up on, uh, you know, something to prompt the, the camera up or uh, if you got a, an iPhone or a Samsung, whatever it is you're shooting with and just sit up and do your time lapse, which is an option under your, uh, your photo screen. So, or your camera screen. So, uh, but I thought that was pretty neat as well. Just setting it up at a stoplight. I tried to find something that had a lot of busyness in it. And recording it. it took about I want to say it took about a good five minutes to do this recording and then I picked yeah. a clip that that had a lot of traffic in it so uh, we'll go to your second one now all right Luke if you want to jump in and tell us a little bit about this one here yeah definitely this one's a, a little bit different of a view uh, this is actually on the river uh, where those boats come through and you can see in the far right hand corner there that that's the part of the, the Savannah ports yeah um, across the street is the convention center, but this is just the, where everybody walks down the river, uh, you know, just, just strolling, walking through, uh, enjoying it. And that day there was a lot of good clouds that were rolling through, um, to kind of contrast the people and that, that bridge in the back there, that brings you to South Carolina. Uh, people don't like that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, clouds are one of the, the cool things you can do in a time lapse as well. You know, for one, they're, they're constantly moving uh, mm-hmm. and they're changing shape. So yeah. if you guys want to try something that's really cool, it's just set it up on a tripod, point it up at the sky and just do at least five minutes worth of recording on there. And when you play it back, it's only going to be, you know, 30 seconds to a minute of good footage. But when you play it back, you know, you're going to get these, these, awesome clouds that are just forming uh, especially going into the winter time you know you'll see some of those winter clouds come in uh, sometimes you know if the sun's out and then it hits this big cloud it's pretty cool too so but uh you know looking at the um i guess that's a boat tie at the bottom there is that, is that yeah right? yeah yeah it is that is huge man you can imagine the the boats that come through there though you know the tugboats and all that stuff too right mm-hmm. yeah um I, what I'll do is uh, next week when, when I'm I'm off or on lunch, I'll try to get one of the the the, the cargo ships that come through. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. They're huge, and we'll share that with everybody next time. We'll just throw it on something near the end and and show them the uh, the time lapse there as well. So, all right, let's go into the last one that I made here. Uh, so give me a second to switch over. All right, so this one I actually made a, a small movie on the iPhone as well under the iMovie. So I took a lot of small clips. Uh, the first clip that you're going to see we'll, we'll discuss is just me walking with the camera or the iPhone <clears throat> down the, the lake there uh, just to kind of get an idea of before you get started, this is kind of the scenes that you want to look for. You know, something's got the leaves moving, it's got the water moving, it's got the clouds and the sun coming up. So I went and yeah. shot this the other morning. Uh, so if you guys just want to watch this and then we'll comment after we get done.
All right, so let me cut the volume down and we'll go through this. So adding a little bit of music to it, I think had helped with the, the contrast of the video, you know, has something mm -hmm, a little bit definitely. more upbeat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But this is actually Lake Norman. So there it's one of the boat, uh, landings that they have down there. So I got there, uh, it was roughly around six fifty, almost seven o'clock. And that parking lot was so full already of about 40 boats that were just dropping off and that had already dropped off. I guess they were going fishing, but I, I seen them all just kind of lined up as like four more lined up right when I got there here, I did a vertical as well. Uh, so you can also turn, you know, turn your phone or your, your camera into vertical mode and do vertical time lapse as well. A, a lot of people don't look at doing that because most of the time your landscape stuff's horizontal. Uh, but I just thought I'd try something a little different. And of course, yeah. uh, that, that morning uh, the clouds weren't like yours, you know, and when the sun peaked that top of the trees, it went straight into the clouds. So I didn't really yeah. get a good sun peak, you know? Uh, but to me, I mean, the, this water was so choppy, man, as you can tell, uh, as the boats were getting in the water and then kicking it up, plus the wind was blowing, uh, so it's almost a good scenario for a time lapse, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. So, uh, but again, you know, if you guys haven't done time lapse before, uh, this is just a good, a good way of learning, uh, you know, go somewhere where there's a lot of motion, whether it be people, cars, in this situation, boats, uh, water, anything that's moving. Uh, like here, every three seconds, I would just move the tripod head. A little bit more a little bit more a little bit more and that way it kind of gives that that sense of what they call like a hyperlapse which is where the camera moves during a time lapse so yeah and if nothing else we can discuss hyperlapse a little bit as well it's basically you put the camera on like a little handheld tripod or something or you just basically walk with it you just walk straight into a straight line while you're doing a time lapse and it gets that like you're on a bicycle and just want to go you know what i'm saying and everything's yeah. flying by you really fast so and that's something we can discuss in a later one. We can do a couple one, uh, a couple of those to kind of give them an idea of what that would look like. Uh, but again, guys, you know, uh, everybody out there listening, you know, send us some some pictures, send us some videos, send us your questions, and and me and Luke will be glad to uh, get up with you guys. All right, guys, that was our version of the time lapse. Uh, Luke, I want to thank you for doing a couple of those down in Savannah. And, uh, you know, guys out there, if you want to participate in uh, sending us some of your uh, photos, your videos, or if you need help with anything, um, definitely send us your comments. You know, let us know how we're doing. And if there's anything we can uh, help you with, we'll be glad to do it. Right, Luke? Yeah, definitely. You know, even if, if you feel like you suck at it or you're just not doing the best or, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I sucked at that time lapse thing, but I still did it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but next one I do, it's not going to be as bad. After that, it'll be better. You know what I'm saying? It's just a matter right. of practicing and getting out there and, and just getting out, you know? Yeah, and, and one thing you can also do is do a little research, too, and find out what other people are doing with their time lapse. You know, mm -hmm. let's say, you know, a lot of people, I want to try one uh, at night. I think that would be the coolest thing, you know, do a night time lapse where you have – uh, maybe on a bridge or something where you have cars coming in and yeah. going out, you know, and try to do something like that or something in the city uh, where you got the street light that constantly stays at one exposure, you know, and everybody else is just kind of walking by and you got all these lights going. So maybe something like that would be pretty cool, you know? Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us this time for our time lapse uh, episode. And again, thank you guys for all your support and everything you do. And we'll see you on the next shot. See you next time.